friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I am so happy to see you today. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that you and your loved ones are taking care of the best that you can. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far. It is the week before Christmas. Christmas is on Monday so it's like the week before Christmas but also literally the final days leading up to the 25th. Um, and we are doing our 25 days of Christmas countdown. We are on day 20. Oh my goodness, where has the time gone? So we are now officially into the uh, two zeros, the, to the 20s of the month, and only a few days left only five days left of our 25 days of Christmas. Um, if you have been enjoying these videos, I am so happy that you have been. Uh, whether or not you celebrate Christmas or not, I hope that you have been finding them to be just a little breath of fresh air and a little happy spot in your day. Somewhere to come for some positive vibes, some pretty Christmas decorations. I love the lights personally are my favorite. Um, but you know, just lots of colorful, cheerful um, stuff. And then I've been doing uh, Christmas craft um, as kind of a theme uh, most of the days. I've had some sort of a Christmassy themed craft to show you guys or an idea to give you guys or something. Um, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying that. The other thing that we have been doing, if you have not been here and have not seen it, uh, we have been doing 24 cups of cheer. So this is my advent calendar uh, and it has coffee. Uh, it also has had a latte in it. It has had hot chocolate in it. Um, but these are K cups for you know like a Keurig or I, I don't know if um if other brands make them yet or not but you know the single cup brew uh coffees that is what this is and we are down here in the final row so we uh did day 19 yesterday so we've actually already started cutting into the final row we are going to be in the last one that's on, under the Christmas tree because this one's kind of off to the side over here Still a lot of present though. Um, let me see about the best way to angle and let's see what's in store today for our mystery. Hmm. White chocolate, oh, hmm, interesting. Okay, so this is a Donut Shop Duos. Uh, donut Shop is Walmart's coffee, one of Walmart's brands. And this is a Donut Shop Duos, white chocolate and vanilla. Intriguing. My hubby is a huge white chocolate fan. Oh, artificially flavored coffee. Okay, I was like, is this hot chocolate? Is this coffee? What is this? I don't know if Donut Shop does things other than coffee, but I was like, I've never seen these Donut Shop Duos before. Intriguing. All right, I am off to make this cup of coffee and then I will let you guys know what is in store for our Christmas craft for today. Okay, lovelies, I have returned. I've got my chubby I Believe in Unicorns mug and I've got some coffee in here. Ooh, it smells really good. I haven't tried it yet and I do have whipped cream in here. I would show you, yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a, a very large mug and I didn't feel it all the way up because if I do the largest setting on my coffee mug my hands are cold and this is nice and hot <laughs> um, if I do the largest setting you know that just waters down my coffee more so I still always do the middle setting on it um, and then if I have a really big cup sometimes I'll just brew more than one coffee um, or I will just have space <laughs> but I love this mug it is so cute oh that is rich that's very chocolatey, actually. And vanilla. Wow, I'm actually really surprised by how flavored that is. Ooh, yeah, I love that. Speaking of really good coffees, uh, I don't have it in here with me today, but tomorrow, um, remind me, and I will show you guys a coffee that I got. There is this brand, um, 
I'm not sure if you can get them only at HEB or not, which is a Texas grocery store, um, but I will have to show you some Christmas flavored coffee that is so good. Um, anyways, guys, this coffee, really, really good. Um, very strong flavored coffee, actually. Highly like that. Highly like that. I wonder what other flavors it comes in. Okay, so today's Christmas craft is something that could be a good present. Um, I'm actually doing it as a present for a gift exchange. Um, one of the things that we do uh, for Christmas here is on Christmas Eve, we all go over to my hubby's grandma's house and there is a, um, it's kind of like a white elephant gift exchange, but it's a game where you, um, everybody puts presents in there's girls and guys presents and then everybody will go around the room picking numbers out of a hat and then when it comes to your turn um uh your number you get to pick a present from the floor you don't know what it is you pick it by the packaging it's all wrapped up or bagged up um and then you open it and everybody sees what you got once everybody has gone um or even while while people are going rather than grabbing a present off of the floor they can steal a present from someone else. So is say that someone before you got a present you really want, rather than opening a present from the floor, you could say, I want so-and-so's present. And then that person, now that they don't have a present, can either open a present from the floor or steal someone else's present. Um, and then there's a rule that's like, I think it's three times. Presents can only be stolen three times and then they're considered dead and out of play and like that present just stays with whoever got it on the third steal. Um, so some years it can get pretty crazy. Sometimes people are like, you know, in the spirit of Christmas of not wanting to steal pe other people's presents because it typically is that everybody kind of wants the same presents. Um, but people can get, you know, pretty, pretty savage about those presents. So it can be pretty funny. Um, but it's all in good fun at the same time. And anyways, um, I am making some candy, uh, jars. And I thought that this would be a fun project for crocheting. So let me move my coffee out of the way. So what I thought was get whatever container you want. And the cool thing about this is you can use any container. You could use this as an upcycle for old jars. Um, this would be great for mason jars, uh, but also like jam jars, salsa jars, anything that you just take the label off of. Um, and then you just crochet a circle to the size of the lid. And then you go down until you get to the end of the lid. So let me show you. So this has this type of lid. So this actually goes to the very edge of it. And then I just hot glued it on. I hot glued the, the middle part on and then I went around hot gluing the edges on. And then I'm gonna fill this up with like peppermint. So I'm gonna go to the store and grab some candies for it. Um, I'm gonna fill this up with peppermints or something, probably peppermints just because this reminds me of a peppermint. And then it is a little um, decorative like crochet candy jar. Um, but you can do them in different ways. I also did this, which is one of these little hanging ornaments that you can open up the bottom on. Um, that it came, This actually came from the dollar store. And I, this was the first one I did. And you can do them any way you want. I did back loop only to shift into going down the sides. And then I went into the back loop only with this white yarn and did slip stitches. And that is what created this like ridge this is where they all connected together because I was working in the round in a spiral, not connecting my rows. Probably should have been connecting my rows. I actually did connect my rows on this one instead of working in a spiral, which makes sense because I was doing double crochets. But I would recommend working in, you know, slip stitching at the end of your round so that you don't end up with something like that at the side. But I still think it's really cute. I have um, pa papers that I have hole punched. Oh, apparently they can fall out through the top. It's not meant to be held that way. Um, I didn't know that, but I have papers I've hole punched for Christmas decoration or Christmas cards. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what this one looks like. Uh, that didn't make any sound when it dropped because it has the uh, crocheted lid. That's a, like another perk to it. So here's what this looks like. So I think that those are so fun and easy. And I did take some pictures um, to kind of walk you through the process in case you guys want to make your own. Um, but I thought that these would be great for candy jars. Um, honestly, anything. You could do bathroom jars, like ones to keep like your cotton buds in, um, makeup uh, remover wipes, you know, like the little uh, cotton pads. Um, 
Q-tips, you know, anything like that. Um, you could do them in different sizes, like have like three maybe and like all three be different heights with like matching, uh, matching yarns used so that they coordinate. Um, you could do them all different. Like I feel like you could just really go crazy with it and do a lot of different ideas. Um, I am not sure how many I'm going to do or if I'm going to do all different designs or what, but this is what I am currently working on today. Um, and I also finished that Christmas present that I had been telling you guys about, which was this. Where did my drawing go? And don't mind, his hair is very crazy. Um, if you guys remember, I told you that this was a character from an anime called Hunter Hunter. And he is named Kiloa. This is my little sketch of what I wanted him to look like. There are some things I would do differently about him um, when I make him again. And I did write down everything that I did so that I can make him again. Um, I'm not super in love with how his hair came out, but I tried something different. Um, but I did do like a little head cap of hair and filled it with hair. And then I also did like some sewing, like I guess embroidering kind of. Um, I want to make his torso a little bit shorter. I feel like I made his torso a little bit longer than I wanted for this chibi style where he's supposed to be kind of short and squat, you know. Uh, but overall, I am pretty happy with it. Um, for the first time having made it um, and making up the pattern as I went along, I'm happy with it. And I really hope that um, the recipient uh, likes it. It's going to be a Christmas present. Um, but that is what I have been up to making, um, Christmas presents, working on that. And then, like I said, I'm working on the gift exchange swap item. We still need to come up with something for hubbies, um, for the guy's side. And I don't know. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to make something to go along with, like, I'm making something for the girl's side. I kind of want to make something for the guy's side, but I don't know what. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. I've been like, I feel like it's so hard to find good crochet ideas for guys. Like things that they'll actually like. I Like I've tried looking, but it's like, I don't know. A lot of them are just not as easy. I don't know, for girls it seems a lot easier because you can make things for the kitchen or the bathroom. You can make washcloths. You can make, um, you know, scrubbies and jar covers and... Uh, all these different types of things, but most guys are not going to appreciate those types of things. So I feel like the crochet pool is quite limited unless you want to make them like a whole blanket or like a scarf and hat set. Um, and I live in Texas, so a scarf and hat set would not be the best gift idea considering it has not been staying consistently cool still. Uh, I don't know though. Let me know if you guys have any good ideas though. Anything that you guys have done as not too too long of projects either because I they need to be something I can get done relatively quickly um but yeah that's what I'm working on uh I think I'm gonna do candy jars but I might do something with the candy jars too I'm not sure yet um but I wanted to share with you guys the candy jar idea um because it's so customizable so easy um and I thought it was like a really quick little thing to work up if you guys have any last minute presents you need to do you could do these with things around the house that you already have um any type of a container with a lid and then um whatever yarn you pick um and they wouldn't even have to be Christmas colored you could do them any colors so that's what I'm working on. Let me know what you guys are working on down in the comments below. Uh, and I will go ahead and show you the pictures I took of the process, kind of explain it a little bit. Um, like I said, it's really simple, but just in case anybody wants to make them and wanted a little bit of help with how I did it, um, then I will go ahead and give you guys that info. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, Nomies. So basically you just start out by making a magic circle and you wanna put eight stitches in it either single crochet or double crochet and then you'll just increase in every stitch around for the next round and you'll just continue to increase till you get to the size of the lid you need going up by one every time so you'll do like one single crochet increase repeat it all the way around and then you'll do two single crochets increase all the way around and you'll do three single crochets increase all the way around till you get to the size you want and then you'll just do a back loop only round um, and I did double crochets but you can do single or double um, to make like the lip of your lid.
Um, and then this one I did um, the same thing, but I did it in double crochets. So you just double crochet, um, increase uh, each round until you get to the size of the lid that you need. Um, and then I did back loop only double crochets to do the sides of that one. And then just hot glue it on. And you could also put stuff on top of these, like you could put like amigurumi on top of them if you wanted to, or crochet flowers to put on top of them. <clears throat> if you wanted to make them themed, you could put like the top of an amigurumi on top of it, like maybe the top half of a, a Santa Claus or something. I think that would be cute. Uh, and then these were just progress pictures of Kilua while I was designing um, the plushie that I made. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys again real soon.